cabbage. That's four gym badges, boys. Let's go. And that's cheering down. Nice crit, but it doesn't matter. Let's go. Hi, Sharon. Jetting. That all you have to say to me, bud? All right, cold storage. We got the workers, and then we also have the plasma gauntlet. That's where we're at. Let's get it rolling. I think this is just a guy. It's slippery. Okay, first things that we're gonna do, because this is the most valuable thing to do in the cold storage right away. Get scald. Get it right away. Don't, like, just do that first. Um, and then worry about the rest. Also, I'll get this item up here. Um, but if you're ever here, scald, 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 scald. And now, we're gonna teach scald to some people, okay? Because scald is amazing. Unreal move. And we're gonna teach it to our ducky. Goodbye, bubble beam. Okay, let's take on the gauntlet. Sharon will say hello. Yep, we're gonna walk into this container together. Yeah, it's gauntlet time. Give it a quick savey save. And gauntlet. Popeyes is the lead. He's got... We should check the item. Popeyes is the lead. He's got an Eevee light. We are ready. Bump. Bump, bump. Let's go. So I gotta remember this is in reverse order, but that's okay. Come on, Shed Skin. I mean, I'm gonna sleep for at least a turn, but then Shed Skin might kick in. Maybe? Maybe not? Ooh, also dodged a Super Fang. Holy cow. Just woke up naturally and got it. That's a good Popeyes. Okay. We're just gonna stay in here. Um, it could swagger us. If we do that, then we're switch. But I think we probably just go first, which we did, and then it dies. Uh, I was very behind in narrating whatever happened there, so <laughs> welcome to the stream. Um, okay, next, I think up, this guy's got a Leapard. Would you just lead with Scraggy again? Scraggy is so good. What a good encounter. It's a guaranteed encounter later, I'm pretty sure. It's nice to get early, and I'd rather have the guaranteed Dwebble early. But, God, this thing is awesome. Not very helpful in, like, many of, like, the gym fights it's for. Sigilyph, I guess. Well, no, not even Sigilyph, because it's got flying. Um, but, um... Oop, I sped up on that. Um, but it's, like, so helpful in so many of the other trainers that you face. I gotta remember, 31 is the level cap, y'all. Let's go. We got a sneeze coming. Double tap. Oh, excuse me. Okay, I'm never gonna take down because I hate that move. I will retaliate, though. Okay, that did... 16? Wow. What a beast. Two times. Suck it. Bye-bye. All right. Easy, peasy, beautiful cover girl. Bam ba dam ba dam ba dam bam 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 Okay No intimidate Cool Okay, that's fine. We 
do have to probably switch. But we don't, because we get the kill. Nice. Easy peasy. And that is the cold storage plasma gauntlet. We did it, y'all. Okay, to the gym, to the gym, to the Oop, that's right. We gotta let all of the plasmas go free. All right, down to the mines we go. Okay, so we got this guy first. He should have our Palpitoad. We lead with Candy Floss because grass is quadruple super effective against this guy. So let's ruin his life, okay? <laughs> let's go. Gym time, baby. some more. <laughs> okay. This will also be a good little bitty test for how much Giga Drain does against this thing. All of it. <laughs> Wrecked shop. My god. Metal Claw, dig, home claws, and slash. Let's go. Let's see how this does against a Drillver. Doesn't quite kill it, but that's okay. Not bad. Alright, now we can go get our items. <laughs> South. East. This guy? 50, thank you. It's the guy in the black? Oh, strong! Expert belt. And so this is going to test out our plan for, to have Popeyes be the lead. A little bit, not like fully, because obviously this thing has like swagger. Um, so, we'll see. <laughs> I really don't want it to swagger me, but this thing's so fast that I'm not outspeeding it with anything I have. So you just brick break. Of course. It'll be interesting to see how much damage this does. So 70. Come on, don't hit, don't hit. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. 70. That did so much damage. Um That's annoying. Okay, I gotta switch. Um, who do I switch into? Uh it can be crunch. What is Crunch? Dark, not good against. Fighting, Dark and Steel. Well, how helpful. Um, I think we potentially switch into Portabella here, and if not, then Candy Floss. We, got, we do got to get Popeyes back in if we can. Let's see? Wow, that was huge damage. That would have crit killed. Um, so now we just get Popeyes back in. I can't imagine it swaggers again. That would be crazy. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that does like no damage. Okay, so we get one more chance at this. Ah, okay, we gotta hit through confusion. Come on, Popeyes. Come on, Popeyes. Come on, 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 come on. Nice. Got him. Okay, I need to find a way around that confusion is basically the takeaway that I get from that. Okay, we got a lass who's got a drill bar. Mega Drain. Got him. Is that a crit? Either way. Nice. You guys got the double sandal palpitoad. And guess what? We lead with our grass guy. Why? Because this grass guy does so much damage. 
Oh yeah, I just, I always hack and rare candies. Um, the way that I've basically, so here's the thought process, cause I'm gonna do this in a second with, um, with vitamins. If I can grind to get a thing, like grind against Pokemon to level up, like I know I can do it safely enough and all of that, or like, oh wow, survives on one. Is that really how it's gonna do me right now? Um, um, if I can grind to get the thing, so like if I have to uh, th use Thief against like a wild Pokemon in order to get like a Black Sludge or something akin to that, um, then like, or like, yeah, grind to level up, then I just hack it in. Um, because one, I'm since I stream, grinding doth not good content make necessarily, unless it's like a shiny hunt, but that is a very different type of grind because you don't know, like you're, the grind is the thing that you're looking for in here. Um, yeah, like, so because we got the Driftville drawbridge that we, you can get like the, uh, the wings on, like clever wing and stuff, which increases your EVs. I just say you can hack in, uh, I say you can hack in vitamins so that they can be used, um, which is fine, in my opinion. Mm. Let's go. Intimidate. Which I do not care about because we got Giga Drain. How do you hack them in? Aha. Uh, so one, I guess, is the question. I'm assuming you're playing on like a computer or like, or have access to a computer slash some sort of emulator. Um, most emulators, I think nowadays, have the ability just to be like, like this one that I use, um, which is Open Emu, which I think is Desmume. Um, it has like a cheats section, so you can go in and do cheats. And then here, let me send you some. Well, I guess you could just Google it, but here's some for like Pokemon Black, for example. I'm gonna paste them in the chat. And so, uh, like if you put those codes in, you might have to format them differently depending on the emulator, just a heads up on that. Um, but as long as you do that, um, you will, uh, you should be able to get your unlimited rare candies or whatever, so. For 999 or 99 of them, like, you'll be okay. Wow, we avoided the attack. And then use dig? Ugh. Can't believe I have to switch to the duck. So obnoxious. Get wrecked. Scald. Get out of here. Get out of here, bud. Bye. Okay. That is all the trainers here. Well, Pokemojo, this guy's gonna come with me. We are about to face. Well, I'm gonna go to the Poke Center first. Um, we are about to face Zejim. So Clay's Croc Rock has Crunch, Swagger, Bulldoze, and Torment. What does Torment mean? Same move twice in a row. That's fine. So what we're gonna do? So we're gonna give Popeyes that. Um. What am I saying? Yeah, we're giving... What mo What items is everyone have? We're gonna look at that. Okay. Sorry. Let me let me fully illustrate this thought. So we lead with Popeyes against the Krakorok for the specific reason uh, that uh, fighting good against Dark, Dark not good against this guy. Um, so the only thing that it really has is Bulldoze, which won't kill us one hit. It will outspeed us. However, it'll probably want to swagger us. And so if it swaggers us, we get an attack boost and then we heal confusion with prison berry and then we just um you know pop it with a brick break and it probably dies um so that's the lead strat from there we try to 
pivot around to get Candy Floss in against the Excadrill um, or the Palpitoad. Um, the point being is that Candy Floss is a really, really, really good wall for Excadrill because it's grass. That's why we give it the e Eviolite. Um, right, but Shedskin doesn't always heal right away. So it might take a turn or two. It's like a chance per turn, as I believe how it works. Um, anywho, the other thing is uh, Excadrill. Um, this thing has Prankster, and so because of Cotton Spore, I can low harshly lower its speed stat once or twice, switch between Cotton Spore and Giga Drain and whatnot, and I can lower its speed with Cotton Spore, damage output with Charm, and heal up with Giga Drain, meaning that like we can probably do pretty well against this thing. Um, it does have moves that are pretty good against us. Uh, I believe ground is, is not very effective against grass. Rock is probably its best move or slash. Um, but the point being for him is that we we want to slow him down so the rest of our team can speed up or can outspeed him. That is the big play against Clay. Candy Floss is like our dude. And Pecking is a good roost healer. So that's why we got Pecking in here. Um, we can use Pecking as well to pivot to get um, Candy Floss to come in, or someone to come in on a Bulldoze. Which we want Candy Floss to come in on a Bulldoze, yes. Rock, grass, ground, grass. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cotton Spore is always first, because the more important thing is outspeeding, because it's not going to switch. The AI here is not very likely to switch. And the reason that we Cotton Spore is speed always stays, but Charm reduces their attack, yes, but if they get a crit, it ignores that attack drop. Um, and so we're basically playing around crits by using Cotton Spore first. That's the plan. Does that make sense? Okay. We're good. We're good to go. No more overthinking it. No more double checks. It is time to face Clay.